Raid 3, Tombs of a Massacre is finally here, guys. Last night, I streamed about 12 hours of it. I lost track of time. I was having that much fun in this raid. It's honestly one of the greatest things that Jagex has released for this game so far. But now, it's time to make a guide so that I can share what I've learned and my knowledge with you guys, especially for those looking to get into raiding for the first time or that are just having trouble trying to execute this raid here. I will be strictly doing this guide on the easiest possible difficulty, purely so though I can explain um, everything properly and just kind of take my time with the guide so it's not overwhelming. So this is done strictly on zero invocations. Turn on the difficulties where you want to, everything explains what happens. But honestly, if this is your first time raiding, push it to 50 if you want to. But at the end of the day, the mechanics are pretty much the same whether you have one person, four people or eight people. A few things might change if you go from five to eight people, but I will let you know what I mean by that when I uh, get to that point in the raid. Other than that, with the gear you want to take in, you're going to want to be able to take a trident and as much mage damage as possible. So I'm talking ancestral, if you do have it, it's quite expensive. An occult amulet, tormented bracelet, and of course your mage cape. Those are the key items to be able to maximize your damage, especially on the final boss. In terms of range equipment, a Tebow or a Bofa, honestly, both of those items do great if you have full crystal. The Bofa is amazing. If you can afford a Tebow, grab one. But in my opinion, honestly, the most important range item in this raid is the Toxic Blowpipe. Get your fucking hands on one of these, boys. Doesn't really matter what darts you have in there, preferably like Amethyst for one of the runes, but the Blowpipe, and I'll show you why when we're in there, is honestly one of the most crucial range items in this, in this raid. It's probably more important than a Tebow at this point, unless you're scaling up the raid. When you're learning, the Blowpipe is fucking perfect. As for melee now, you're going to want something to stab. You can take the scythe in. I'm not going to bring the scythe purely just for the simplicity of this guide, so you guys don't see me just chopping cunts up left, right, and center. So I'm sticking purely with the rapier, which I've borrowed off someone, Mike. If you ever get online, message me on Discord, discord.gg slash bigdickenergy, so I can give this rapier back to your big dog. If you don't have a rapier, Dragon Hunter Lance, Abyssal Dagger, or Zamorak and Hasta is a good alternative to replace with it. If not, just bring a fucking temp whip at the end of the day, but... Stab weapon seems important, unless you have a scythe. And finally, especially when you're learning, leave the fighter torsos and the bandos and the dragon boots in the bank, because obviously most of us are best in slot. And when you're learning this raid, that sort of, uh, the strength bonus isn't gonna make a difference. This is a very major range heavy raid. You're better off bringing a couple extra brews or restores to be able to survive this entire raid. So, that being said, this is what we're wearing. The rapier, the mole slippers best in slot, the full crystal switch. Over in the inventory, we've got a mage switch, blowpipe, and then the rest of it, we've just kind of filled it with shit. If you don't have a pair of dragon claws, grab yourself a dragon dagger. Make sure you make your party, set all your invocations to zero. Get the fuck in here. Let's show you how it's done. Now, the Keras Partisan, especially on entry mode again, is not really important. I think it's probably going to be, uh, become more important uh, in the later and harder raids, but when you're doing, even on normal mode, if you've got your settings set to 150, 170, you don't really need the Keras Partisan. We will start with the Scabarous room, though. I like to go to this room first because this is the one room that, especially as it gets harder, the, as you set the difficulty harder, it can fuck you the fastest. The other rooms are pretty much free clear. So, you've got a puzzle room, very simple. This puzzle uh, with the pillars, they, they are in any order, these four, but they're always the same sort of puzzle. So for this pillar, basically, whatever's lit up, you just have to light them up in each order. So you just look at this one. Nope, not that one. That's simple, just find the one that fucking lights up. Don't worry about taking damage because you can heal later on, especially if you have fucking ancient spells. Here we go. Now you know which one's two. Three, fuck. Two, three, fuck. Two, fuck. Two, three, four, fuck. Two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. Beautiful. You unlock the gate over there. Go through the fucking tunnel. Now, if you're desperate for HP, which, you know, when you fuck up like that, you obviously are. Hit with the fucking blood blitz, baby. Activate the button. Simon says, very simple. Middle, south, top, whatever that one is, then to the left. So down, down. Don't step on any other tile. Come over here. And done. Remember when you're running, you can skip over tiles. That's why I was able to step on certain tiles and not activate them. Next room. This one's pretty simple. You can step on the light portals until you discover, like, figure out how to turn them all on at once. What I like to do is turn them all on except one and cheat. There you go. See, one's not lit up. Just flip it, dude. You take 20 HP damage. Doesn't matter. You're gaming. Easy room. Over here, next, you've got the, uh, what was like a number, number game. At the start of the room, there is a chart right over there. Uh, that basically tells you from the top left is 1 and the bottom right is 9, which number is which. However, what number do we get? We get number 40, so fuck. Which now is the perfect time to take a screenshot if you need it. That is exactly what you want to be looking at, 1 to 9. So basically just add up all the numbers fucking together. Hold on, I'm just trying to do math here. I'm going to fucking die here. You can pray range, you know, stop taking fucking damage. But I'm confident I've got enough bruise for this entire raid. I'm not too 
worried about it. Done. I don't know what the fuck we're worried about. All right, now you just got to do uh, matching the tiles, so you just get the star. Obviously, if there's more than one person in this room, you could do each side at the same time. And in solos, is the only time that some are already lit up. If you are in a two-man, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, you have to just match them all, one person on either side. You can't just run over there like this to be able to figure out which tiles are where. I'm not even paying attention at the moment. But as I said, when there is more than just you, this is the only difference in this room. This puzzle here, you will just have to stand one on either side and play a matching game together. It's good communication, it's very cute. Now into the boss room. Easiest part of the fucking raid. Now this is the only time where I feel, especially on normal mode and higher, you can get fucked. The rest of the raid is pretty free, so... Gear up in your melee gear. Rapier works better than the Keras Pilots in here at the moment for me. I don't have any gems. Pray mage just in case you get fucked. Start hitting the bitch. That's it. Nothing else to worry about. Keep moving. I like to keep moving so you don't get hit by the mage ball. We call it the poo calf phase because it's just a walk ball. So it doesn't want to hit you. You can just like walk in a cute circle like this and then you never get hit. But here comes the poo poo. So you get knocked when there's scarabs on you. Just run away before the poo lands on you and you're sweet. You cannot clear the poo. So now it's, that's like partitioned out. All right. He's down, throw on the blowpipe. This is where the blowpipe comes in clutch. Attack all these scarab spawns. Please, for the love of God, before they get in. Thank you. If you can get, especially in a team, it's a little harder in a solo, I found, but if you can get all these scarab spawns killed before she comes back up, and if you're in a team of two, three, four people and everyone hits with the blowpipe, she'll come back up with two HP. And it's a free raid. 100%. They start to really come fucking flying in now. Holy shit. Watch out for the suicide bombers at the same time. And oh, I should pray range as well. Ignore that little cunt over there. He just hits you with range. She's only come out with 78 HP. That's not too bad, to be honest. I'm going to blowpipe spec this boy and miss. Cool. Fuck him. Like I said, if you are in a team, you can clear all those spawns and get a 2 HP up. She only gets healed if the spawns make it into her. So that's definitely something to take note of. That's why the blowpipe is really fucking strong in this room, especially when you're trying to clear it because... It's just fucking disgusting. Get rid of these little eggs here. This guy melees and this one mages. So keep on protect from mage and get rid of the melee real quick. But you just keep on top of the spawns. I don't really worry about it too much else. Especially in easy mode. Because you don't take a whole lot of damage. Just keep on hitting the spawns. Because you want to make the kill on her as quick as fucking possible. Get rid of this guy here because he's just going to do some unnecessary fucking damage. And that's it. Just keep chugging away at your bruise. And that's it. You just go for the next down. Wrong potion. Idiot. Run south so we don't get locked in. You do want to try kind of hang around the, the rest of the poo poo that you've already got there. That way, when you do get knocked, you can kind of stack the poo on top of each other. Oi, fuck you. Oh shit, thought I locked myself in there then. Easy. And this is it. You just put her in the bin now. You don't really need the Keras Partisan. I know I've got the rape here, but honestly, I'm, I'm not kidding. The Dragon Hunter Lands works better in here than the Scythe if you've got one. Especially they're dirt cheap now because fucking people are dumping any items that aren't used by uh, like streamers at the moment. If you don't see a streamer with a lance, or the Dragon Hunter crossbow, it's getting dumped. So they're dirt cheap now, 50 mil. By the way, I just walked into the uh, crocodile room, so this is where we're going to start now. Very easy, very fun and free room. We've already sipped the stamina, so we're winning. Pick up a water container. This is the easiest puzzle right here. This one, just run straight down the middle. You take damage, who gives a fuck? Doesn't matter. It's all about not taking damage on the way back. But I'm so flawless, I don't even take damage. Pick up the fucking water, all right, and then run straight back. Look at that. Not even taking fucking damage. If you don't take damage, you have 100 water in the container. If you get hit, you lose half your water. 50, 25, 12, and so on. Crocodiles are going to start coming out and trying to drink all the water. Fuck you. Ah! Am I going to have to do another one? No, we're good. We're good. Nearly fucked that up. Cool. Now you got the big crocodile room. Big Crocosaurus Rex. Put on the fucking range gear. This room is really easy and honestly my, my favorite room. I love this room the most. Suck those fucking brews because you didn't bring your bandos because you're a fucking smart player. You don't need bandos. We haven't had the fucking need to use it yet. Put on the range potion. Pray rigor with the hard R. Range attack. Looks like that. They're rocks. Just pray range. You take no damage. All right. Easy. Put on the dragon claws or DDS if you've got it. Don't stand in front of them though. You'll get fucking chomped. All right. That's a mage attack. The red ball. Put on the mage attack. Run away. Wait for him to attack again. Go back in. Hit him with the fucking claws. You're fucking good. Now, if this shit happens, you see the boulders? Push the jug. All right. When the jug is rolling, hit it. All right. Clear the poison. Stand behind the fucking rock, otherwise you will die. He's gonna do a big fucking yell, it's gonna do a lot of damage. But if you stand behind the rock, you're safe. Alright, that's all you gotta do. Ready? Here he goes. There's a big boy! Look at that. Easy game. Keep praying fucking mage, keep hitting him with the fucking hard R. That's all you do. Okay, here come the waves. Just like Galvet, you guys had PTSD? Don't worry, I got you covered. Stand where the wave is not. It's easy game. That's it. That's all you've gotta do. You can even hit the jugs while they're rolling. Clear some of the stuff. And then we finish him off. Once his HP gets low enough, he starts to get really fucking shitty. Oh, here we go. We've got one more fucking boulder phase. All right. Easy. Push this boy. You can push him diagonally. Hit it. Done. Stand behind the boulder. That's a big boy. All right. He's dead. Easy room. 
Let's move on to bigger and better things. Now you've still got uh, two more rooms to do, but now there's a little spirit here saying give me some stuff. So we're going to claim, personally I'm going to claim um, the chaos because smelling salts and all this stuff is nice. And these ambrosias are fucking lit. Actually, shit, I should have grabbed the other one. Doesn't matter though. We're on uh, easy difficulty. Monkey room. It's monkey time, boys. This is where we're heading into next. Now, this room confuses a lot of people. Let me explain to you real quick. What I'm going to explain to you, I think, applies to all team sizes. But, I could be wrong if it's four to eight players. I don't think I am, though. So, just fucking bear with me and I'll kind of explain what happens. What you're going to do is grab potions. If you have a Dragon War hammer, you do not need a hammer. But, if you don't have one, grab a hammer. Okay. Enter the room. Whoever enters the room first gets a sight and your circle up here goes blue in the top left corner. What that means is you can see what's going on. Put on the bofa or the blowpipe, whatever you want. Start fucking belting the monkeys. Put on rigor with the hard R. Certain things are going to trigger that only I can see because I have the blue mark. The pillar. For every person in the room, you have to repair the pillar. So I think if there's five people, five people have to go to a pillar and repair it. I believe. Definitely one to four, everyone has to repair one pillar. If there's three of you, only three pillars need repairing. I think five to eight, everyone starts to repair a pillar. I'm not 100% sure. There might be pillars and vents. I don't know. I haven't experienced that yet. So that's really up to you guys for experimenting. But you at least understand the mechanics of how the room works. Get rid of the shamans as soon as you can because they just summon thralls for no fucking reason. And it really extends the room. Vents! Stand over the vent. Pour potion. If there's only two of you, you only need to do two vents. If there's three of you, three vents. Four, four vents. Five, fuck knows. I have no fucking clue. And there's also one that you won't get when you're soloing, which is corruption. Now, if there is corruption, you'll, whoever doesn't have it will see red people. You can either all stand on one spot. If you mark a tile, like say here, everyone meets here for corruption. And then everyone, uh, you just use a potion on them all. Pillars, here we go. Use the pillar. Or... You just get the people who are corrupted to use potions on each other, whatever fucking works for you. When I'm solo, it also doesn't happen in this raid, but if you are not solo, if you're in a group, people will, um, the site will change from player to player from time to time. So, watch out for these volatile cunts, they blow up. Uh, so the, the site will change, you just have to keep on top of it. I like to, uh, if you don't have mic communication with people, you can just say like P for pillar, V for vent, C for corruption, and people can act accordingly in the chat. Pretty good way to communicate across the team. Get rid of the shaman, watch out for these guys. And for the cunts that walk around with the, the toxic, get rid of them ASAP. If you have someone freezing on your team, fucking perfect opportunity to just keep them frozen. But that's the room done. You can bring a sow, by the way. Um, but again, it's entry mode, you don't really need it. Now, it's also worth noting that this is the one room where the scythe is useful. This room and the obelisk room, scythe good. But again, I didn't bring the scythe because I wanted to show you guys, with, I guess with the rapier instead. That it can be done without a scythe. You really don't need a scythe. This room is fucking memes though. So, yeah, this room was difficult until we wrapped our head around it. Now we're pretty fucking, pretty fucking clean with it. So, we're gonna teleport over. I might use some smelling salts. Smelling salts are like overloads, but better. So we're gonna smell that real quick. I'm gonna hit him with the dragon claws because fuck him. He's a big monkey boy. Now these boulders come down. You gotta watch out. When he throws barrels at you like Donkey Kong, you must stand next to a boulder. Watch out for the poo poo as well. Don't wanna get hit by poo poo. So, you need one person. Per barrel, 10 damage. If there's two of you, you want to have one boulder each, I believe, or you could share a boulder. But when there's three of you, you can only have two people on one, one boulder, if that makes sense. The barrels that are thrown do 20 damage. Get rid of these little monkeys, because if they open a sarcophagus, uh, damage. Stop! Watch out for the poo-poo. I think the poo-poo is a little bit fucking broken, but... Um, yeah. I've got a method to it in a second, which I'll explain. Basically, the poo-poo comes rolling down the hill, hit the black poo-poo. The darker poo poo, hit it with range. You should always max hit it with range. If there's two of you, both of you hit it. Good practice with this guy. Every time you attack, or every time he attacks, no, every time you attack, it's good practice to just like move two squares. Kind of like when you do Maiden in Tob. You kind of want to just keep moving when the attack comes out in case it's poo poo, in case it's blood. Oh, have got a boulder here. Stand next to the, uh, the rubble, and you take this damage. Run out here, no poo poo. So you kind of want to just keep moving constantly because it does fucking fly at you really quick. More poo poo again. It moves really quick in this raid because one, I'm absolutely fucking ripping ass. And two, it's pretty easy. Honestly, it's not that difficult with zero invocations. <coughs> Very user and noob friendly and a blowpipe, honestly. Goes a long fucking way in this raid. It really does. Alright, done. In the bin. He's dead. Pick up the big banana. Stick it up your ass. The final room. Akka. Path of Het. This room. This is really fucking easy. Everyone said it was a hard room. Nah. Easiest room in the- Well, I think the crocodile room is the easiest room in the raid. This is the second easiest. The light puzzle is fucking memes, to be honest. You can one down this in a solo. Watch this shit. Let me show you how it's done. How the fucking boy does it. Grab a fucking pickaxe. And, um, yeah, we're gonna mine this wall out here. You can hit- You just have to hit this light into this shield. And you can hit it from the fucking side. Like, you don't even have to really... 
put too much effort into it. Watch out for that black bowl, Jesus Christ. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort. We're gonna pick up this barrier here, and you don't wanna get hit by the beam because the beam will do damage to you. Pick up this mirror here, and we'll, uh, we'll drop the pickaxe. I don't think we're going to need it again, if I'm honest with you. We're going to put a mirror right here. Oh, you can't put it on the rubble, okay. Right here. Turn it clockwise. And then we're going to put the last mirror right here. And you guessed it. Go hit the fucking seal real quick. Wait, I didn't- I need the pickaxe. I'm a dickhead. Fuck! Shit! Fuck! We're not one downing it, boys. I'm a fucking idiot. You need the pickaxe, destroy it. Doesn't matter if it's bronze or dragon or crystal. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> we got our one fucking hit in? Hell yeah, I'm gaming, dude. This is a guide for noobs. By a fuckwit. Now, let me show you a bug. All right, let me let me show you a big old fucking bug, which really fucking tilted me last night and got us killed numerous times. If you have this problem, I have a solution. One, the scarab. If you use it, this happens. Okay, and that's it. Like, that's. Yep. If you if you have this problem, use the silk dressing. Straight back out. Look at that, Jagex. Why? Okay. Back to the uh, actual main game, sorry. Put on your mage gear, walk in here. What you're gonna do is kite him. Don't even let him hit you, because he'll melee and he can hit you through range. It's not worth it. Just keep fucking running around. You got stamina, you got time. Fucking hit him. Run over here. Stay the fuck away from him. All right, cool. Next phase, easy. That's all you gotta do. Pick a corner. Doesn't matter which one, just fucking pick one and start hitting the cunt. Belt it. This is where I think the blowpipe honestly comes into its own. The blowpipe is huge in this room, because this guy has no defense and neither do these. But in a solo, it's really fucking easy, so. I'm uh, just kind of gaming at the moment. But you just blowpipe everything, and that's it. Obviously, you can see it's protection praise, which do change over time. You need to act accordingly. So we're on to the next one now. Very easy room. Start hitting this one. You have to keep him in the same quarter that you killed the ghost in. So because we're killing this ghost, he has to stay in the lightning region. We need to melee him now. Okay, Simon says black, red, black, red. Easy. All right. You have to pay attention when that happens, because if you miss one, you're going to fucking kill the entire team. There's a lot going on in this room, but it's honestly very easy. Come back to this quarter, because this is where we killed the last ghost in. You can only damage him in here. What's he going to use? That's a range attack. If they're red, it's mage. Fucking hit him with the stick, and you're sweet. Alright, move over to this side. Now let me show you why the blowpipe's really good, because even in normal mode, it does damage. Just do this. If you're black, if you turn your black like this, stay still. Don't move. If you go white, you move. That's a mage attack when it's range, uh, red. So keep that in mind. Black, stay still. White, fucking move. You only have to move like two squares when you if you go white. But otherwise, you're sweet. Come over here to this corner. Start damaging this one. Blowpipe honestly hits everything because there's no fucking defense. And we've got to mage him again. Oh, he wants to play Simon Says. Gotcha. Yellow, white, yellow, white. Easy. All right, and now he's going to go down, which becomes the cum phase. So if you're not familiar with the cum phase, it's very simple. Put on the dragon claws. All right. Find him and dump him. That's it. Watch out for the cummies too. Done. Easy. Obviously in hard, you know, harder difficulties, it gets more difficult, but you do it on the easy mode, you learn the mechanics, and then you up the difficulty at your own leisure. That is the beauty of this raid. Bringing us to now the final boss. Let's get, uh, let's get some power. Let's get some liquid adrenaline going. Liquid adrenaline is fucking huge. It basically halves the amount of, uh, special attack that you need for your special attack, so I'm a big fucking fan of it. Into the boss room. Honestly, it looks amazing in here. Fucking love it. Now, jump over. We're gonna enter the shadow realm quickly, which is a bug. Can't come out. Look at this. We got fucking nothing, thank you Jagex for that, but we have silk dressing to get us out and my guy's gonna do a bit of a jog because, well, fuck you. Alright, throw on the dragon claws, we're gonna pull out liquid adrenaline and the ambrosia. Ambrosia is just like, uh, crack, basically. You just, you drink, you drink the ambrosia if you're in trouble, and you're good. Right click, begin. What you're gonna do is stand over here, pray party, dragon claw, DDS, spec, whatever. If you have a scythe, use it. Absolutely, I didn't drink my fucking adrenaline. Great. Dump this fucking pillar, but stand on this side. You don't want to let all the skulls in on both sides, you want to off-tick the bosses. Because otherwise their attacks happen at the same time, and then you get fucked. So stand on one side, let the other one fucking send it. This guy's going to send in an attack at the moment, what's he going to do? Little pyramids, that's fine, the red ones are good. That's why I like to stand on this side, because you can get more damage in. The red ones don't block you, but the yellow ones do. Alright, yellow, step out of the way of the yellow, you got to wait, because yellow does damage. We don't want damage, damage is not good, unless we're doing it. Done. Phase over. Obviously it takes longer on normal mode. This is delusional, but it's fine. Put on your mage gear. Fuck you. Little balls like this, stand apart. If you get big balls and you're in a team, DD. Everyone stand on each other if a big ball comes at you, which comes from this guy on the left. Alright, pray mage, or do mage damage. Red skull, mage attack. Anything in this raid that flies at you that's red is mage. Anything that's not red, 
is range. Anything else is melee, okay? That's one thing to fucking note. Stay away from the lightning, they'll turn your prayer off and it's really toxic. When he goes down, you need to strictly mage the core. It absolutely fucking rips him. Always max hit, look at that. <laughs> now you wanna range him. That's a mage attack that turns your prayer off like Ohm. Turn your prayer on, done. Look at that. You can even blowpipe him. Look, it's even for the cheat cunts that don't have all the fucking best in slot gear. Look at that, what do you know? Easy raid. For the boys. Mage this core again, because it absolutely fucking slaps. Max hit. Honestly, this boss fight is super quick on this difficulty. It takes maybe twice, three times as long on a harder difficulty on normal mode. But it is really good fun. And it's really well designed too. It does look fucking amazing. That's a mage attack. That's P2, finish boys, finish off the core. Then we'll go to P3, which I think is where we verse the Tumikin's Warden over there. Alright. Now you just range. You can blowpipe it if you want. It doesn't really matter. Blowpipe is probably honestly better. Start on the right side like this. Alright. Three tiles. Right. Left. And then middle. That's it. That's all you do. Right? Wait for him to attack. Left. And then middle. Blowpipe is good in here, but both is better, so I'm gonna use it. Oh shit. Right? Left. And then he'll summon out these skulls, put on your melee weapon, and you can just fucking one tick them all like this. Done. Bit of a pause there, because I'm autistic. That's fine. Does damage. Keep hitting him. Start on the right. And move over to the left. Man, he attacks so slow in easy mode. Holy shit. In normal mode, he's like a lot fucking faster. Alright, crocodile's out. Pay attention to the crocodile and what he attacks you with, just like the room that he's in. Look at that. Mage, one tick the fucking skulls. Back to business. Keep the mage attack going. Keep protecting from mage on. Keep hitting the cunt. Right. Left. Middle. Bop. More shit. Now you gotta watch out for the falling rocks from the monkey. Keep moving now. Don't stand on the same square for too long. There's a lot fucking going on, but it's about to get even more fucking cummy. Check this shit out. Alright, start on the right. Keep moving from the boulders. Pray mage. From the crocodile in the middle. Liquid adrenaline. Get the fucking dragon claws out, and just fucking spec the cunt. Use your DDS if you got one. This is just a DPS check. In a normal mode, it really fucks you if you're the only one alive. But that's it, to be honest. Just fucking spec him out. This is just a mad fucking DPS check. Bigger and better than the Fasani Nightmare, but that is literally how you do the raid. That last boss is kind of cummy, but it's just... Come in here and practice, guys. That's all you've got to do. Practice the fucking boss fight. Practice the raid on the easiest difficulty. You can do it if, like, in easier gear than this. You Like, look how much fucking... Look at all these supplies I still have. I didn't touch anything. You're gaming in here. It's welcome and free for everyone to do. I would like the thread to upgrade my rune pouch. That'd be nice. Please. Can't. Oh, yeah, cache of runes. Oh, yeah, that's fucking gangster. It's huge for Iron Man accounts, especially. Let's see what we get. My mate got a 3,500 death runes from that. Honestly, the money from this raid is fucking filthy. I'm not even kidding. That's not a personal best. My PB is what, 27, 23 minute challenge mode? Bad luck. What do we get out of this? Give me some death runes, let's go. 1300 blood runes. That's fucking filthy. How much is that? I just got 500k from that fucking raid. This this raid makes more money on easy mode and is faster and easier than story mode top. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do the raid. That's uh, all my knowledge that I think I can share at this point. I will be live streaming it quite a fucking lot over the next few days. Um, big banana. And that's about it. Make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Don't be a shit cunt. Come to the live streams done right here on this fucking channel. You want to ask any questions, you want to learn something, or come raid with your boy, I might let you. Maybe. Might do some learner raids or some uh, viewer raids on this raid just for the meme. Don't be a shit cunt. And, uh, fuck off. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn. Fuck me, look at that boy. Yeah.